everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my Artsy Endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, it's Cindy. All right, we're here at part two. What I have is, first of all, I have the fabric that we melted some crayons on. Okay. Then I have also the Tyvek that we scribbled on and then we put some paint over and crumpled all up and let dry. So I've been thinking about this and what I wanted to do is I wanted to make some flowers, but I want to, I don't, I don't want just the typical looking flower. Um, what I did is I just cut a piece off and started just freehand drawing circles, okay, or drawing, cutting circles and here they are. Then I have these fabric circles as well. Now, of course, I'm not going to get rid of any of this. <laughs> I can't. It's, um, it's all got to go in my scraps drawer. So um, I'll just cut the parts apart. But anyways, um, so this is going to go in my scrap drawer, and you'll probably see it come up on my grab and glue journals or wherever. Maybe some tags. Who knows? But I decided to turn the camera on before I had them all done, which I got a long ways to go. But I want to do, I'm going to do some circles flowers and I'm going to do some square flowers. Now nobody has told me that there's no such thing as a square flower. Even if they did, oh well, I'm making some square flowers. So what I did is I just took this um, little bits of fabric that I had. You guys saw it when I did the video. And this one has like a little rumple on the edge and then here's another one that has a little rumple on the edge and then this one. And it has just fray on the edge. And I'm going to put that together and we're going to use that as a flower. Now, it kind of looks funny here, but you know what? By the time we get it on, it's going to look really cool. So what I was doing is I was just, I'm going to make this the top. I'm just cutting. I'm not using any special scissors. I think this is a pair of dollar store scissors. I should be using my ones from Mayped Helix because I like those much better, but I don't want to ruin them. So, yeah. So I'm not going to use them. So now, I'm just taking pieces of this fabric and just putting it together into flowers. We'll make that one work. All right. Um, now I also have this, uh, this and this fabric, which we're going to do the same thing. I want some squares. Where's my other one? This one. Now I thought about, you know, making a journal cover and yada 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 and yeah, I'm just not into that right now. Right now I'm into making funky flowers. So this is what I want to do, because this one doesn't have like a top on it, I'm just going to cut it so it's fringy. Okay, so see it has this little fringe on the top. And that's going to go here, and then we're just going to take a small piece of this, and that's going to go here, and we're just going to make little flowers. So here's three of the square ones. Now I want some round ones, and like I said, the only thing I'm doing is just sitting here and slowly cutting circles. Are they perfect circle, cir circles? Are they perfect circles? <laughs> the heck is it with me and my words? Hey, I want a perfect circle. No, um, they are not perfect circles. They are just whatever I decide to cut. So here they are. There's those. Hang on to that. Hang on to that piece. I want some circles out of here. And I, I will definitely be doing this technique again of melting crayons on the fabric with the fabric stiffener because it's just really cool. I like the way that they come out. So we're just going to do a couple small ones with this one. I know this is probably boring. I'm sorry. I'm just cutting out circles. So I'm going to shut the camera off here in a minute. And I'm going to cut a bunch more circles out of that and that, the Tyvek. And again, I am not making these perfect. I don't want them perfect. There is no such thing as a perfect flower. So let me finish up cutting the circles and then we're going to come back and put them together. So I'll be right back. 
All right, so I'm going to show you what I did. First of all, this is a little bit of Tyvek. I've got three different layers on a flower here. Eh, it's okay. It's going to be a cute tulip, I guess. This is the um, fabric that I did with the melted crayons. Eh, it's okay. I've got to use some markers and stuff on it and make it a little better. Um, with the fabric, these are just three more flowers that I made. I will use um, probably use paint pens, do some doodles, that kind of stuff on these. Um, just because, you know, I don't, I don't like them just flat the way they are. So we'll work on those. But what I also am doing, and I wanted to show you, is I'm working with this Tyvek, and I'll tell you, I really like it. This is the first flower that I put together, and I used my heat gun and melted the edges of it. And it's kind of cool. But a couple things I noticed. Number one, I cut the things too tiny. See how tiny they are? Those are too small because what happens is when they melt, they just melt up. So as you can see on this side, it was way too small and it just completely melted the Tyvek. Now that doesn't mean that I'm not going to use this flower. I'll use it for something. This is the second flower I did. I made the things a little bit wider. So when it melts, it just kind of curls them, which I think is really cool. Now I'm going to show you this. I've got four more sitting here that need to be melted. Um, and actually I have this one here that I'll put together completely for you. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to melt these. Um, I'm not touching them because it's too hot. I'm just using my um, bone folder. Or my, yeah, my bone folder. Just taking my heat gun, and this is just a regular heat tool. And what I'm doing is I'm just coming in around it. And just a little bit. There you go. See, when it starts heating, it heats quick. See it? Bingo, we're done. Whoops. So it's it's kind of difficult to control. Actually, it's very difficult to control. But once it melts, it's just really cool. Um, if you don't know what Tyvek is, Tyvek is the stuff that they wrap the homes in after they put the insulation up. It comes in a roll and it's a local hardware to store. All right, let's. I gotta move these because these keep blowing away. All right, let's do another one. Move that. Okay. What I'm gonna do is just go down, and once it starts heating, it just takes it and curls. So you see how quick that curls? Look at that. I don't want to curl it all the way, so you have to be really careful when you're doing this because once it takes a hold, it just goes. All right. Still pretty warm, but it's I can touch it. Now, if it's a little bit too, just pull them back out a little bit. These aren't done enough, so I'm going to do them a little bit more. See? The minute, man, they start getting warm, they curl. <laughs> all right, so there we are. There's another little flower. Now, this inside wasn't cut at all, so let's take this. And hopefully, I can just get the inside of this warm so that it doesn't curl everything else. So I'm going to hold it here. Hold it here. That's all it took. See how quick that went up? And you can pull it back out. Like I said, it's... It's doable, and that didn't really like the... I didn't cut it there, huh? So, I mean, these are fun to play with. I'm just having fun playing with the heat, and, you know, it, it's, as long as you have a surface that it's safe to heat on, um, these turn into really cool flowers. All right, this one has already been cut. Let me see if the inside no. And again, I'm just snipping this. I'm not going all the way to the core. I'm just snipping the ends of it. Oops. Just a snip in just a little bit so that it can. I don't think these are cutting. I don't think those are cutting either. Those are worse than those ones. Okay. Alright, just so we can get a little bit of um, movement on there with 
the Tyvek. All right, so, whoops, there goes all my brads. A bunch of brads, anyways. All right, so, ready? <laughs> you guys sick of this? <laughs> Sorry. It's my fun, and I'm sharing. Look how quick the, the middle turned up. You see that? Come on, turn around. Turn around. Bingo. And that look rough. And then just kind of smooth it back out. Now here I got a little bit overzealous. And it's funny because sometimes man, you have to give it just a little bit more heat. Because like these didn't do real well. So I'm going to go back in again. And I'm just going to bring up the edges. There we go. So aren't they cool? I think they're so cool. All right, now just to show you how I put these together. They're cool. I like them. Crayons. It's all about the crayons. All right. So I just have three circles that I cut out of the Tyvek. I'm not being, um, first of all, I didn't die cut them. It doesn't matter. Some of them are straight. Some of them are short. I don't care. Um, I've got my little, we are memory keepers punch here. And I'm just punching a hole in the middle. I'm not worried about whether or not it's in the right place. I'm just putting a hole somewhere near the middle. And see my, even my star is cockeyed. And I really don't care. It's okay. Because it's just fun. Now I'm just taking the scissors and I'm going around trying not to make them so small. Um, and I'm just cutting. I'm not going all the way. I am trying to get into that middle circle. However, if I don't, it's no big deal. Okay, one and two. All right. So I've just cut it all around. Same thing. I'm going to hold it. Move these out of the way. Make sure I don't have anything else here. Whoops, too much. See? If you hold it just that split second too long, they just curl right up on you. Alright, so let's see if we can get these brought back out a little bit. And you know what? If they, ooh, that one's hot. Um, if they don't come back out, like these aren't going to come back out, that's okay. Because you know what? When I put more flowers on, it's no big deal. Now, how cool are they? These are going to be used in my, my year journal. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This was part two of the Tyvek slash um, crayon paper. And I'm going to be using these in my My Year Journal. I hope you guys enjoy. We'll chat soon. Bye. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.